just get along. Can't we just get along, folks? See, church, I want to declare to you here today that unity in God's community is critical. It reflects the beauty of unity. It, 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 it shares the blessing of unity. And then also it shares the benefits of unity. See, a lot of people don't want to sit down with people they can't get along with. We don't want to sit down. We don't want to live in the house with them. We don't want to work with them. Don't want to serve with them. See, if we not unified, how are we going to connect some others to God? Unity is good for us. And it's not only good for us, it's good to us. See, it's not only good for the church, it's good for the family. It's not only good for the family, it's good for the neighborhood, it's good for the community, good for the workplace, the government, the country, the world, and the kingdom. If you want to be known for your anointing, it calls you to be a unifier. It calls you to be a unifier. Unifiers use their anointing to bring people together and not tear people apart. If you have a problem with race now, what you going to do when we get to heaven? Ain't going to be no little white area of heaven. Ain't going to be little Tokyo over here. All the blacks over here. It's not going to be church of God in Christ. Not going to be first this and second that and third this. It's not going to be greater this and lesser that. 